Hey guys. So this last weekend was the Spartan race and it was as miserable as I knew it was going to be. Um, the weather was way too cold. There was people being wrapped up in blankets and and being carried away on stretchers and um, there, the photographers that were there, thankfully there was quite a few who stick, stuck around, but a lot of them were hiding away in little, um, I don't even know what they're called, but they had a little setup for them and um, they were wrapped up in blankets and shivering and cold and, and the real feel was like in the negatives and it was windy and it was just insane and if my husband hadn't been there to spectate and to switch out my gloves for his, I probably would have dropped out of the competition because it was just so cold. I was I was kind of going all, I've never been that cold in my life and um, it was to the point where I was getting nauseous and um, and dizzy and kind of just very strange feeling. I'd never felt that way before. Apparently my gloves were wet. I didn't even realize they were wet because my hands were numb. I couldn't feel anything. My feet were numb and um, my body was okay. I, I didn't really, that didn't really bother me. My face was really cold because it was the only thing that was exposed were my eyes and my nose was all runny. It was, it was crazy. It was in, insane and I didn't want to do it but I did it and um, I don't think it's smart for them to have those types of events in that kind of weather but um, but people still went and people finished and some people did fine and um, there were people who were better prepared some people who were, who were not well prepared at all me included um, I'm not used to this type of weather and this the type of gear that I needed. I was kind of, I was pretty much clueless for the most part and didn't know how to layer properly and didn't know what what socks to wear, what shoes to wear. So it was all it was crazy and they don't let you wear boots and um, they don't let you wear anything with grip and my shoes they my shoes are good shoes. I had the Innovates. Um, they're like the cross training CrossFit or whatever shoes. And um, they're good shoes, but they're terrible for whatever we were on. I kept slipping, I kept falling. I was like bouncing around on that mountain. We were going up and down mountains, and um, it was all icy. And you would think like, just follow the tracks of the people in front of you and it, it'll be fine. But what ends up happening is this, the snow would get packed down and it would get icy. And so if you stepped where somebody else had stepped, you'd, you'd eat it and it was it was pretty bad so you would have to go off the trail that even they designated for you because the trail itself was not safe it was all pretty much ice and um pretty steep you had a lot of um hills that went up and down and it honestly wasn't even that bad until we got to like an open field after we got out of the the hills and the the, the mountainous areas and there was an open field that kind of wrapped around a mountain and you had to carry a bucket and so your hands were were already wet and cold from sliding down the mountain because you use your hands to kind of slow your slow how fast you're sliding down the mountain and so your hands are wet and now you're grabbing onto this bucket and your hands are exposed and the winds hitting your hands and the wind was like whew, it was crazy and so it was at that point where I was like oh my gosh my hands I can't feel my hands like I don't know if I'm gripping anything I can't feel anything and I just stopped and I like I stuck my hands in my pants as funny as that sounds I stuck my hands in my pants I'm like I need to warm up my hands my I tried putting it on my stomach I tried putting it on my back nothing was working so and like it literally my my legs were just as cold as the rest of my body and nothing nothing was heating me up and some good Samaritans actually gave me some of uh, some hot hands and um, and they were like are you okay? Are you okay? And I was like, um, I think I'm dying. <laughs> and that was probably the worst part, but it was after that part where I saw my husband and I was like, I need you to give me your gloves. And he had these army issued gloves and, um, and he, and he had hot hands in his, so he switched out mine. He's like, your gloves are completely soaking wet. And I'm like, I don't know. I just, I can't feel anything. So I don't know if they're wet. And he just handed me his gloves. And after that, I just, I went through, I did whatever obstacles I could, but for the most part, I was just like, whoop, going right around the obstacles if it had anything to do with hands or anything to do with being wet. Um, and it was, I mean, the obstacles themselves were not bad. 
they if it was on any other day or any other time where I wasn't freezing cold they would have been like they would have been pretty breezy except for some of the like the rope climb one I probably wouldn't have gotten that one anything that requires too much upper body probably not but the the walls weren't too bad we had help so people giving us boosts and stuff it was it was fine and then the anything that you had to climb over something it was fine and um, they consider the hills part of the obstacles and those they they were everything was fine and the sandbag carry was was good anything that I had to carry anything was good um, but but yeah the weather itself was terrible and and I mean major props there's a lot of people who did it and a lot of people who did it fast and I'm sure if you did it faster rather than slower it would have been better for you because you're not as cold for as long it took me over two hours to do the whole course and it was like they said it was three and a half miles it seemed like way more than three and a half miles to me four or five miles I would have I would have assumed would be closer to it and um, but oh, but they said it was like about three and a half miles it took a lot of people even longer than, than two hours some people took like a up to three hours and it's kind of crazy to imagine that it would take like an hour to do a mile but it was really it was it was pretty bad um, but that's that's pretty much it I mean I have a shiny new metal for it it's totally not worth it if you ever do a race like this try not to go when it's too hot or too cold because that's dangerous the weather itself is dangerous let alone um, getting soaking wet and getting muddy and getting and all that and then you can't rinse off after you can't shower after because it's like freezing cold any type of um, any water that they give you is going to be freezing cold to drink um, the the bars that they gave us at the end were frozen solid the the heating tents the heaters weren't working in the heating tents so even when as you wait you're cold even at the end of the event, you're cold. I had to, like, my husband peeled my shoes and my socks off me, and he, like, he let me warm my toes on his on his belly. It was it was pretty awesome. If he didn't do that, I I don't know, man. It was it was so bad. And then there's like you have to walk like another half mile to and from your car, so it's another mile if you're going to and from your car. And so in the freezing cold, like the cold is just what kills you, man, and that wind. And it was um, high elevation. It was in a ski resort. So you're going up the mountain and the higher you go, the colder it is, as you guys know, and you can't breathe as well. So it was it was pretty miserable. I mean, I did it. I don't feel proud or I don't feel I don't feel any any type of accomplishment over doing it. I think that it was stupid. I don't pride myself on doing stupid things and making decisions that are just like, I don't consider it badass in any way. I think what's badass is being smart about what you do with your body. And um, But props to whoever whoever does it and likes it and enjoys it. I mean, do it if it, if it floats your boat. It doesn't, it doesn't satisfy any part of my competitive spirit to do something stupid like that. And, and to be bad at it and to be miserable at it. And Alright guys, my video got cut off, but I'm sure that you catch my drift, so like this video if you liked it. If you're a Spartan and this video really doesn't reflect how Spartan races actually are, just let us know how it usually goes for you and um, share your experiences. And if you were there, let us know how this experience went for you. Alright, talk to you guys soon. Bye.